Basically, I'm here to teach people how to become their ideal self. So many people struggle with meeting their expectations in life, becoming the person that they dreamt about becoming and not meet, meeting up to what they really wanted to become, their true potential. And I'm here today to show you how you could do that. You know, I struggled, you know, growing up as a child at the age of five. I, my parents heard a gurgling sound in the other room, and I, they, my mother went in to see what was wrong. I had a virus, and I had an ear infection, and um, they had put me on some antibiotics. And basically, uh, when they came in, my mom came in, she saw me turning blue in a grand mal seizure. They rushed me to the hospital, and they found that the virus had turned into encephalitis and that the encephalitis had traveled to my brain. They immediately induced me to a coma, and after four days, they told my parents, most likely if she comes out of this coma, she'll probably be paraplegic, or she'll probably have severe brain damage. Um, my parents were devastated. They were basically uh, trying um, to uh, hope and pray that I would get through this, and um, after four days of being in a coma, my dad came from an island in Greece and he was very religious and he saw a statue uh, and teardrops used to roll down the statue's eyes and he was visualizing that in his head. And uh, he basically, um, when he looked up, my eyes opened up and I was awake and I actually asked for McDonald's french fries. I wasn't paraplegic and I didn't have severe brain damage, but I had epilepsy and I struggled my whole life. Every time I moved forward in life, I felt like I got knocked back three steps and I could never get ahead of myself, no matter how hard I tried. Even when I was in college, I had a very difficult time. I didn't think I was going to finish college because of uh, the seizures I was having. When I started in, my, in the corporate world, my epilepsy got in the way and I never really got to meet up to my expectations for a long time. And I didn't know, you know, if anything, if I was actually gonna move forward in life, if I was ever gonna be the person I really wanted to be. All those dreams, hopes, and expectations I had in my head, I wasn't sure if I was ever gonna meet up to that. And then one day, I actually, um, uh, I met an herbalist, and an herbalist um, hired me to do some uh, research and writing for him. And I learned uh, all these different uh, natural techniques on how to heal a body naturally, how to um, learn how to live with stress. And I started applying a lot, a lot of these things to my own life. And my seizures went from 12 seizures to 9 seizures to 8 seizures to 6 to 5 to none. And uh, I was really amazed with how holistic living could actually change your life. So I started to change the way I thought. I retrained my brain. I retrained the way I was living, my lifestyle, how I handle stress. And I actually um, wrote a book and I called it The Complete Herbal Guide. And it was a bestseller um, on Amazon. And it taught me um, that, you know, through all these different ways of coping with um, different um, obstacles in my life, I learned how to actually um, realize that you could change your life. You can actually learn how to improve yourself if you actually you know, create a regimen that's going to work for you. Everybody's different. Every person is different. We all have different goals and expectations. We think differently, react differently. But we all want to be a success in life. We all want to feel good about ourselves. And we can feel good about ourselves. And we can meet up to our expectations. And we can be, have a happy, healthy, and productive life. And, you know, people say, well, how? I don't know where to begin. And it's a step-by-step -step program. And, you know, we take baby steps. And the first thing I say to people is, you have to just kick out the past. You know, the past is the past. You know, we can't change the past. We can only focus on the present. We have to live in the now. And what do we want to do with our lives? Who do we want to be? Where do we see ourselves in the next six months? Where do we see ourselves in the next 12 months? Where do we want to be two years from now? You know, the, the one thing I like to do is I like to keep a journal and I create a strategic plan. 
And what I do is I set short-term goals and long-term go goals for myself. And it doesn't necessarily mean that every single day I have to be accomplishing these goals, but I have an idea of where I'm headed, where my journey, where I want my journey to be, and you know where, where do I go from here. And each day I do the best I can to at least try to accomplish one little goal in my life. And if I can accomplish that one little goal, I give myself a pat on the back. Hey, I, you know, I did something to improve myself, to improve my life. And, you know, we, we have to learn that in life, nobody is perfect. Everybody, you know, we get caught up in the social media, we get caught up on these movie stars and celebrities on TV, and we think that, you know, those people that go on TV and, and are on, in the social medias, those class A celebrities, are actually that way when they're home. You know, their job is to entertain. Their job is to make you feel good about yourself. But when they go home, they're a different people. They are the people that you don't see behind the camera or the TV. They have a different way of living, a different way of doing things. And they, you know, they're just like you and me. You know, I learned from a, 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 good, a good mentor of mine. He said, don't ever compare yourself to the person next to you. Or, or don't ever compare yourself to anybody because what happens is is that that person could be working on themselves for the last 33 years and they feel great about themselves because they've been working really hard to improve who they are and they met up to the per they became their ideal self but you're just beginning and remember nobody is perfect we all have flaws we all have something in life. There is not one person on this planet that doesn't have something. But the question is, who do you want to be and what makes you happy as a person? Don't worry about what mom wants, what dad wants, what your family wants, what your friends want for you. What do you want? What do you want from your life? What's going to make you happy as a person? When you go in the bathroom to brush your teeth, and look in that mirror and you're not happy with yourself think to yourself okay what will make me happy as a person if I go out and help people and I advocate for others if I am able to you know be able to take walks and have time for myself if I'm you know able to not have be so stressful every day you know and start jotting down the things that you want for yourself and what's going to make you happy and give it you know and if you say i'm not happy with my life well then what would make you happy and jot, jot down 10 things 10 things that are going to make you happy as a person and then create some short-term and long-term goals for each of those 10 things that you just wrote down and each day try to do something that's going to make you happy as a person. And little by little, day by day, and especially when you start accomplishing these goals and these little things in life, you are going to start feeling better about yourself. You are going to start liking the person that you you can that you're becoming because it's going to make you feel great. Now Rob um, jotted down a question. He said, "How do you stay motivated every day?" Well, that's a good question. How do we stay motivated every day? Well, we really need to have purpose in life. We need to have a passion and then have purpose. And then we need to rise from the chaos in our life and have courage to move forward. And the first thing we have to do is, what is my purpose in life? What gives me First of all, what makes me happy as a person? What's my true passion? What do I want to do with the rest of my life? What do I want to do with today? And what's going to make me happy? What's going to make me want to roll out of bed? And then figure out ways that you can incorporate that, that passion into your life. Whether it be able to take walks on the beach or maybe have some quality time to yourself in the morning or be able to just not be so stressed out and and you know you need to think about what's going to make you happy as a person in life 
there are so many different things that we struggle because we live in a world that is constantly on the go, on the go, on the go, on the go. And we always tend to neglect ourselves. And that's a problem when we tend to neglect ourselves. We need to really focus on a little self-love. And I like to tell people the one thing, we can't take care of others until we take care of ourselves. And the one thing that I suggest is giving yourself a little time in the morning, maybe 15 minutes of meditation. Find a quiet spot and just close your eyes. Take a deep breath in breathe in through the air through the nose and breathe out the toxins clear your mind slow down your body reduce that stress level and then focus on the things in life that bring you joy the things in life that would make you happy and just concentrate on your surroundings concentrate on the quietness maybe if you light a candle and you have some a nice scent in the, a nice aroma in the room that brings you down to a level that makes you feel serene and think about things like a dove or the waters in the ocean and the and the noise that the ocean makes when it goes back and forth back and forth and just close your eyes and continue to breathe slow in through the nose out through the mouth and 15 minutes and then to give yourself a stretch and just move forward and stretch come up slowly take one deep breath and one deep breath out and open your eyes and i guarantee you that will help you relax it will help you focus better and it will give you while you're meditating think about your purpose what's today's purpose you know living in the now What do I need to do today that's going to make me feel good as a person? And these are some tips that will help you become more focused, give you clarity, give you purpose and passion, and really think about what makes you happy in life. What do you want to do with the rest of your life? What do you want to do today as a person? And these are things that are going to help you move forward in life. Now, when you want to stay motivated, you have to do things that you enjoy in life. Now, we don't, you know, most people don't like to go to work and we don't like to do a lot of the things we do. But at least if we focus on what a certain thing that motivates us, that makes us happy in life, like maybe our morning morning meditation or taking some time at the end of the night just to sit on the couch with your loved one or your partner and just relax and maybe have a nice conversation these are things that could help you build yourself and feel good about yourself and then also focus on that journal we were talking about writing and setting short-term goals and long-term goals And one of my uh, ultimate tips for helping you become an ideal person is getting rid rid of the negativity in your life. Because it's very hard to become the ideal person when we are surrounded by negativity. Have you ever been next to somebody and that person is just so negative and everything that comes out of their mouth is negative, 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 negative. And it just by the end of the day after talking to that person or even a person you're speaking to on the phone everything they say is negative well how do you feel after talking to that person you feel drained you feel like a vacuum just sucked all the energy out of you it's pretty amazing how negativity could actually have effect on you well 90 percent of our world is energy over 90 percent so if someone's feeding you negative energy it's going to bring you down as a person. It's going to set thoughts in your head that weren't there before, and it's going to make you bring you down. It's going to make you think about these negative things and put you on a mindset that's not healthy. One of the things I needed to do for myself to make my, help myself become my ideal person, one of the first things I did was I got rid of 
the negative people in my life. Now, some people, we have family members that are negative and, you know, we can't, we're going to see them all the time or on, on, during events and stuff like that, but you don't have to be their best buddies. You can kind of give yourself a little distance. And when it comes to friends, you want people that are going to pick you up and help you rise up to the top. You want people when you fall, who's going to be there to catch you? Those are the type of people, people that are going to encourage you to do better for yourself, to be the person you want to be, that are going to give you the support you need and say, yes, you can do this. You can do this. You don't want someone saying, oh, no, no, that's not a good idea. Oh, no, you know, you know, you want people that are going to help you be the better person. And these are the things you have to do. You have to get the negativity out of your life and bring in the positivity. And when you bring in positive, take positive people into your life, you develop positive thoughts, and it strengthens you. And I always say, faith, wisdom, courage, strength, and hope. These are the keys to success to help you become your ideal person. So today we talked about we talked about having a passion in life. So we want a passion in life. We have to think about what's my true passion? What do I love to do as a person that makes me happy? And then create a purpose. What am I here for? What is going to help me be that better person? And what do I need to do with the rest of my life? What do I need to do today? What's my purpose in life? And then you're going to set goals and you're going to, and and if you're not happy with yourself, the first 10 goals you should do is say, what would make me happy? And set those short-term and long-term goals. And create a daily journal with those short-term and long-term goals. And write down about how you feel and the things you have gratitude for. And keep doing this repeatedly. And each day you accomplish a goal, write it down. And write it down. And then look at all the things you're doing for yourself. And then we talked about meditation. Meditate, relax, and be able to be able to clear your mind, gain focus, and be able to move forward in life and be able to have a clear head that day so you could actually accomplish the things that you need and when we have a clear mind we slow ourselves down mentally so we can focus on what's important and i didn't mention this before but a lot of us get lost and we we tend to be all over the board make a priority list and manage your time what are three things i need to get done today that are going to make me a better person and make me feel good about myself. Now Rob just said, where do you write your goals? I don't have a book. Well, I have a book actually. I talk about in my Empower Yourself, Don't Let Your Conditions Empower You. This book was written to basically show you how to release the power within you. And it basically talks about anything. And when I say conditions, I mean anxiety, stress, an illness, anything that's going on in your life, any condition you have, I give step by step in my book how to overcome it from baby steps, from step one all the way to step 10. I have 22 chapters in this book, and the book is really great. I've gotten a lot of positive feedback. It's helped a lot of people. And today, I'm giving this book for free. Uh, if you go on CoachStacyChalemi.com and you go slash free book, you will see this book. And all you have to do is pay for the shipping and handling. I'm giving the book away for free. And you just have to pay for the shipping and handling. And that's it. And you got yourself a book that's going to help you change your life and help you be the ideal person you want to be. Now for Rob's question, I create, in my book I talk about how to create a journal, but not everybody likes to 
you know, create journals. Not everybody ha knows how or I, even though I explain it in the book, some people just don't want to do it. So I created the Positivity and Gratitude Journal. And this book, it shows people, it has really easy, fun things to help you become positive to show you how to create gratitude in your life, to show you how to become your ideal person. And you can find these books on Amazon, but like I said, the Empower Yourself, if you go on coachstacychalemi.com slash free book, you can get that Empower Yourself book for free. And writing these journals, and it, people don't realize journaling is so powerful. And it helps us come to realization about ourselves. And it makes us realize things we never even knew. And sometimes it connects us with those repressed emotions that we have. And those repressed emotions, we sometimes push down and push down and push down. And sometimes we lose contact of who we are as a person. And it's that when we write, sometimes we connect with our inner self. Those thoughts that start to just race through your mind. You're connecting your mind, body, and soul. Everything is connected. If your mind, if your heart is connected with your mind and you're connected all as one, then you can have the strength to become anything you want in life and you have the strength to become your ideal self. And in further, in the future, in my, it, uh, in tomorrow's um, uh, show, I will talk about connecting your mind, body, and spirit and how that could actually help you become your ideal self. But the tools I discussed today are really great tools. They love to, you know, the, these, these tools that I taught you and these strategies I, I talked about today will help you understand and better yourself and get you closer to becoming the ideal you. Oh, Rob says he loves to journal. I love to journal too, Rob. I, I do it all the time. That was one of the things that actually helped me get out of my ruts. I've been through a lot of obstacles in life just like everybody else has. And I'm telling you, journaling helps you. It's a form of therapy. Some people don't like talking to other people. They feel a little insecure or embarrassed of the problems they're going through. But therapy is a great option. And sometimes people don't like telling their friends or family members because they could be a little biased or they just don't understand or they, you just don't want to be prejudged and or you just don't want to hear what they have to say because they're your family and you really don't want them sometimes to always know those inner thoughts so journaling is a great way that you could do it one-on-one -on -one by yourself and if you therapy is actually a great resource also and talking to people asking questions these are great ways of moving forward in life and being able to empower yourself overcome your obstacles in life and learn how to rise above the chaos and become your ideal self because that's all we want to do in life we just want to be happy we want to have a purpose we don't want to wake up in the morning and feel like we're dragging our feet every morning it's not worth it what's you know if you have to feel like you're waking up in the morning and you're dragging your feet you know you're going to be feeling very depressed you're going to feel like life's not worth it and you're not going to be able to have that inner strength, that inner power, that, that ability to want to become your ideal self. But back in your, in, the head, in your head, you want something better. You just don't know how to go and get it. Well, I'm here to show you how. And if you have any questions today, feel free to just DM me. You, I'm on Facebook. I'm on Instagram. You can find me on my websites. I'm on all the social medias you know feel free to contact me and if anyone has any questions right now that they'd like to ask I see that someone else had gotten on you know share who you are you know um, Mark I see that you're on also it's great having you on oh you like to j journal too Mark I love to journal I was just talking about that I don't know how long you've been on for but I love to journal that was one of the things I did and in the beginning when I first started journaling what I used to do was is I would talk about what I was going through and I would I would start to like really just dig deep into myself and say how do I feel about this and I'd write it down 
and I'd write down all the things I was going through because I knew nobody was going to read it. So I, I was really open in how I felt, even the thoughts I was having that maybe didn't seem so normal at the time. I just wrote it down and then I wrote about how I felt. And then I got to a point in my life where I was able to come to some realizations. I was able to actually get those emotions out and move forward. And I just, one day, I just started ripping that journal. I, all those pages were the past. And like I said, you can't change the past. The past is the past. And I said to myself, you know what? I feel better. I got all this out of me. I feel like I'm ready for the next step in my life. I feel better as a person. And I just ripped everything out. I threw it away. And I actually went in, in, in my backyard and I, I just burned him actually in my fire pit and I sat there with my husband and I just threw it on and I said yes it's done it's the past I'm over it I'm ready I'm ready to move on I am ready to be a better person now what do I want in my life and then I started really like we were talking about writing those goals down writing everything and then I started to create a strategic plan well how am I going to do it where how you know what am I going to do to get to the places I want in life and every little thing I did I just gave myself a pat on the back and I kept moving forward and moving forward and I've gotten to a point now where I have written 20 books I speak nationwide. I've, I've learned through the power of positivity how to get through the obstacles because that was the main thing. If I was not so positive, if I didn't learn how to use positivity in my life, I would not be here today. Everything that happened in my life, I said, okay, all right, this happened, but what did I learn from this? What did I gain from this? And even people would say, I would, I would say, I would be on stage and I say, you know what? I'm actually thankful that I got epilepsy. And I would see people's eyes go like this. And I said, you know why? Because when I got that disorder and I went through all those obstacles in life and I got knocked down so many times because of it, I said, at the end, I, I learned by advocating and helping others and others helping me. I started to look at life differently through a different pair of eyes. I, you know, I wanted, I wanted this, you know, lime life thing. You know, I wanted to live, go to New, live in New York, live the corporate life, make lots of money, do this, do that, do this. But by having this disorder and helping other people, and then seeing the joy about helping others, I actually started to feel compassionate towards others and in every person I saw the beauty within I didn't look at their outside appearance I didn't look at what they were wearing I looked at them as a person their heart their 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 thoughts you could see how the how much people had so much beauty inside it, the sad thing was a lot of people just didn't see it in themselves and I would be there and I would help them realize you know the beauty within themselves and one thing that really struck me, that motivated me, that actually gave me purpose in life was that one day when I wrote my, fir my first book, one of my first books, Epilepsy, You're Not Alone, I just rewrote that book and updated it. But when I wrote the first one, I opened my email one day and I got an email from somebody and they said, I was in Barnes and Nobles and I was on the verge of suicide. I read your book and because of you, I'm here today you saved my life that was when I knew what my purpose was in I knew the power the wisdom of words I realized how powerful they were that whether I wrote it on paper whether I talked in front of people whether I was one-on-one -on -one with someone coaching somebody those words that I shared with them everything I we we talked about I had the ability to change people's lives and I wouldn't be here today if people didn't come out of the woodwork and help me. So for me, I felt, I felt my calling at that moment. And I realized what my purpose in life was. And then I just kept moving forward and moving forward and moving forward. And that's what you got to do. You have the ability to be the person you want to be. You are 
anything you put in your mind you can do there is no such thing as failure failure does not exist if you try and you put effort in even if you don't get to the point where you want it to be that's an accomplishment you had the ability to overcome your fears and to try to improve yourself and by trying you did that's a step forward and with that said today I just hope that you with everything I've talked about we talked about a bunch of different things they were all interlinked with each other but these are things you could start doing to better yourself and to become your ideal self we'll go more deeper and I'll talk about one topic at a time so we can get a better clearer understanding of each of them and I can go more in depth and I can answer your questions and please don't be afraid to answer to engage with me I love I love talking to people whether you want to say ask me privately or ask me in my one of my discussion boxes or comment boxes I love to help people because people if it wasn't for others I wouldn't be here so like I said we're gonna go through step by step one topic at a time in our future in our future uh, videos and we're gonna go over exactly what you need to do for yourself to improve yourself and don't forget we're giving away our free book today my empower yourself don't let your conditions empower you so go on my website and it should be up about in one hour the buttons will be active and you could actually get that book so you know go go to my website st coach Stacy for your free empower your yourself web uh, book and you will find information in here that will be valuable and that can change your life so you can be your ideal self thank you so much for listening today and I look forward to speaking with you every day Monday through Friday and thank you once again you have a great day